All right, so I am a Latin dude. I am. And people constantly think that I'm white. And anytime someone thinks I'm white, I feel like it's an insult to my race, but a compliment to my character. Hey! And you are back with Under the Golden Gate TV. We are joined here by San Francisco's weirdest, <laughs> or equal to me, comedian, <laughs> Ivan Hernandez, everybody. <laughs> Pleasure to be here, everybody. He doesn't look weird, but he's weird for hanging around with people from Under the Golden Gate. And he gets a lot of women, apparently. It's amazing. <laughs> well, what is the secret? I don't know. I'm cool and girls like me. Yeah, it's like, that's I don't my, know. That's my new gimmick these days. Listen, the nerd gimmick is played out. Yeah. Yeah. You're just a natural. You get up on stage and just act like a nerd. Yeah. Basically, surrounded by drag queens and burlesque queens and, you know, other types of comedians. And, and they love me. Who love you? Women or just the audience in general? Everybody. That's true. That America's true. favorite comedian, 15 years running. You're right, exactly. Okay, yeah. tell us yeah. your secrets. What is the secret to being a great performer? 100% uh, commitment, belief in yourself above all other things, and natural inborn talent. Wait, so would you say that's arrogance or confidence? They are often the same. <laughs> That's right. One's hidden from the there, other. There's very little difference between them, really. I, I, this is. What I wanted to bring this up because you and I have never really connected in the comedy community. You would have uh, been. Would you say that we're both arrogant, and arrogance repels itself? I, I hate hanging out with men. That's the first strike against Boring. you. Boring. All Boring. of my, all of my best friends Straight are women. Men. So yeah. So you would be good friends with Maria. Yeah. You are you great friends with Maria? Yeah. Yeah, hey, we're getting there. We're totally getting best it. friends in the whole world. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You didn't see our matching best friend forever rings? <laughs> yeah. No, we I just put them together and we become Shazam. Shazam. That's how it works. I used to love that. I Shazam when you would just transform. Yeah. If you want to transform into anything, what is your kinkiest kink that like something you haven't done? You want to transform into what like a prince or like what do strike guys want to do against kink? I I've always had this personal fantasy of having my brain transplanted into the body of an albino gorilla. An albino gorilla. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very ultra humanite. Yeah. Nobody gets that. Nobody cares about obscure J Justice Society of America villains anymore. That's racist. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> obscure, <laughs> obscure Justice League of America. Justice Society of America. All right, the Justice Society of America predates the Justice League of America. It's made up of mostly the like Golden Age World War II DC heroes. You know your Golden Captain Age Wonder America. Woman's. Did you just say that Captain America was in the Justice Society? But you said World War II. He came out of World War II, didn't he? DC. DC. I said DC. This is why we never... You know what? Out. I'm off of the show. I'm off of the <laughs> show. Right. Oh my God. My you personal know. beliefs have been offended and trampled upon. All right. So let's, let's change the subject and get people mm. interested. You're a major stoner, right? I'm a pretty decent stoner. I remember you told us that once. Yeah. It was I'm, part of your act. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm... Are you a burner? No, I've never Draws been to a, a Burning Man. Mm -hmm. Never been to Burning Man, yeah. I've, uh, also, I've heard Burning Man is mostly for like people who want to have like group sex and do like stimulants. Hmm. Yeah, you just want to, you're the kind of guy that likes to lay back. Like, like, like for yeah. example, let's say, that, let's say that a bowl is equivalent of like a shot of whiskey. So how much do you drink? Like, how Oh, Jesus. I, like, I smoke about an eighth a week. An eighth a week? How many bowls is that a day? Ugh, I do about... Quick estimate, five to six different, like, full bong loads, like, with uh, different strains. I'll put some hash in it. I'll put some key in it. Every day? So this is like a, yeah. like a, like a gourmet kind of, a, yeah. kind of pot thing. Yeah. So does that contribute? I don't mess around. Does that contribute to your, your performance? Yes. Do you think that anyone who's sober and me could be me? Yeah. Like, no. What it's impossible. So what would happen if you went up on stage sober? Oh, I've done it a... I've done it a billion times. So is it, are you better or, or when you're stoned? Or is it I've gotten it to the point where I have such a tolerance that I'm basically just me whenever, like I'm stoned right now. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my oh god. Oh no! Call oh Joseph god. Anslinger! Oh my god. Wait, do you ever, does anyone ever draw comparisons between you and David Cross? Frequently. Frequently? Yeah, it's mostly because of the nose. Do you know who David Cross is? No. He's a comedian. Tobias on uh, Arrested Development. Yeah. Mr. Show. Uh, he wears, uh, I don't watch TV. I'm, I'm used to looking myself wears, in the mirror most of the time. The Chipmunks. Is this TV? Movies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you know, tranny girls like me can't afford to watch TV. We're always playing around with makeup and looking at ourselves. And, fair enough. Fair you know, enough. looking at ourselves in the mirror and becoming narcissistic and all that kind of good stuff. Mm. Shall oh. we go into the news? 
Oh, yeah, let's go into the news. Did you have any more questions? Uh, I, the only question I have for Iman is when are we going to sh- see you next? Where are you performing next? Uh, I'm are performing... You um, I'm performing at uh, Wright Club at the Makeout Room on the 16th, and that's like uh, more of a literary event. And uh, the 18th, I'm doing an all Spanish show at Marga Gomez's Comedy Bodega. Can you speak Spanish? Si puedo hablar muchas lenguajes. That's a sexy language. You get laid more when you speak Spanish. Than that's the thing, I don't speak Spanish at all. Oh, you don't? Well, you're like Hispanic, yeah. right? Yeah. Isn't I even like a Russian name? How'd you end up with this Hispanic thing? I asked my father, who said he didn't know, and then I asked my grandfather, who were all named Ivan, he also didn't know. Probably because they were smoking too much. It's a really great story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I looked for my ethnic identity and I got no answers and I was left unsatisfied. You should write a song about it. sounds like a song, Why yeah. Am I Named Ivan? Even though my brother's name is, you know, like names like Juan and, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. and then suddenly Ivan comes in. Oh my God. Wow. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that'll be an interesting uh, performance. I think at it the will. All Spanish. I think it will. Mm-hmm. But the Hernandez part gets him in. He does. It's like does. Ivan and people get upset and then they're like right. Hernandez and, he, and they're like, oh, oh lucky. Ed Nandez. Ed Nandez. Ed Nandez. Ed Nandez. And Ivan is a, a regular performer at Show Off. I mm-hmm. know you're actually one of our favorite performers. Thank because you. it's just fabulous when you see all these freaks up there and then to see you up there, this nerdy guy. It's And you're, you're fun. I mean, like to me, mm-hmm. the secret to performing well, I think, is to get up on stage when you're young as fail as fast as you can. Make a complete fool out of yourself. You ever done that? Yeah. I mean, isn't that great? Yeah. Isn't that yeah. the most? That is the secret. The secret I, is I to make the, a I think the next yourself. step is to stop fucking doing that, though. That's the hard part. Oh, no, you definitely oh, yeah. have to start shaping up. Yeah, yeah you point. can't like yeah. you can't use that as an excuse for like five years. We did get a tweet mm-hmm. in the meantime. A question directed to Ivan Hernandez. Ooh. They want to know what is your least favorite fetish. All right, so <laughs> I'm what you might call one of the tastemakers on the edge of sexual deviancy. Absolutely. I am aware of many fetishes that have spawned off of the internet, and while this one does predate the internet, it has become so ingrained in it that no matter what fetish you have, there is a subsection that is contaminated by this, Mm. and it's furries. You mean like wearing pajamas? No, no, furries. Like the little furry. No, animals. people who dress as animals and then oh, yeah. have sex. That's right. With I know, yeah. People yeah. call it plushies. Yeah. That's or a that big trend here. Yeah. yeah, they like to feel their, their parts, you know, going yeah. through the... And no matter like what other fetish you might have, like there's a furry version of that fetish that ends up mucking all of your searches when you're just trying to find this one weird thing that makes your penis oddly hard. Is it one of these crazy things like, it's almost like wearing a mask but it's kinkier, it's like the whole idea behind it. Yeah, yeah, you, know, you, 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 you have like a whole, they have what they call fursonas. Is there, is there a penis the, or not? They're like, they're like magical characters yeah. that like represent themselves and sometimes they'll be like dragons or like, like, Weird fantasy creatures like centaurs. Centaurs are part of it. Are you against that though? Are you against this? I'm I'm only against it because they're so like listen, whatever you want to do to another human of age and of consent, uh, that's your business, buddy. But they wanna fuck animals! They're animal fuckers. At their core, they are animal fuckers. <laughs>
Then it was Steve Jobs. Now it's nobody. <laughs> and he would just be cool all the time. Like, his wife would describe him. She would be like, Carl's very passionate. And he's very passionate is square white people slang for down to fuck. <laughs> yeah, he'd get all up in that star stuff. He'd, he'd smoke weed all the time. How great would it have been to smoke weed with Carl Sagan? Yeah. To have like a deep stony conversation about the universe that actually has a basis in fact? <laughs> be like college education for the price of a dime bag. <laughs> and he would just be cool wherever he went. Like he'd get invited to speak at colleges. He'd just get up on stage, be like, my name's Carl Sagan. I like to smoke trees, I eat pussy, Jupiter is a large gas planet, I'm out, and drop the microphone and leave. <laughs> he was the Chris Rock of astrophysics. Mm. Or is Chris Rock the Carl Sagan of comedy? Mm. It's all about perspective in the cosmos. <laughs> I'm making a star with my hands right now. <laughs> all right, so uh, I went to uh, the De Young Art Museum because it was the free day and I'm unemployed. Yeah. Yeah. And anytime they have the free day, they might as well have a dude in like a top hat and a monocle just yelling at people, yes, come in, filth and beggars. Look, but don't touch. I saw all the art. Saw a bunch of exhibits. There was this one exhibit on Mayan sculpture. And there was this one jar. And the base of the jar was shaped like a dog and the handle was shaped like another dog and when I saw this I looked at it and went ha, two dogs fucking <laughs> and then I looked at the name of the piece and it said two dogs having sex <laughs> and I've never felt more validated in my entire life because, like, I basically discovered, like, the great universal joke. Like, there is no culture in the entire history of the world that hasn't looked at two dogs fucking and at least been like, ha! And some, some people are like, Ivan, isn't another great universal joke someone falling down a flight of stairs? I have a very simple test for that. If you turn a corner and see that thing, can you just laugh at it? And if you turn a corner and you see a dude fall down a flight of stairs, society doesn't let you let the joy out of your heart that you are feeling. Like you have to be like, hey man, are you okay? When really inside you're like, ah, ha, 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 ah, ha, ah, you were up there, but now you're down there now and you didn't want to go that way. However, if you turn a corner and you see two dogs fucking, there's no way you're not at least like, ha! And this is very important to me because look, being a comedian in America is great. Get to mostly say whatever I want with very, very little impunity. But how, how do I know it's always gonna be that way? Listen, we owe a lot of money to the Chinese. <laughs> What if the Chinese take over? I have to start appealing to traditional Chinese audiences. You know what I'm gonna bring on stage? That's racist! Two Chinese dogs fucking. <laughs> That's right, two little shih tzus just going at it. Just hardcore, hardcore. Oh, exactly. Still though, humans aren't always gonna be the top dogs, you guys. What about when our lizard people overlords finally <laughs> reveal themselves <laughs> You know what I'm gonna have on stage? Two iguanas fucking. <laughs> but listen, listen, Earth has made plenty of great organisms. However, what if those assholes from Alpha Centauri come over, crush the entirety of Earth civilization beneath their tentacles? You know what I'm gonna have on stage? Two humans fucking. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna be like pets to them. Guys. 
I'm sorry you had to hear it from me. <laughs> I know you're all at home right now. That comedian was doing pretty great until he told us that all of Earth civilization was going to be crushed by aliens and basically used as sex toys. But you have to hear it from somebody. And I consider myself the Nostradamus of comedy. <laughs> All right, so that's five minutes, right? Yep. Or, all right, give it up for Andrew Roberts, everybody. My name's Ivan Hernandez.